welcome to superb story time a time where we learn wonderful life skills life values from wonderful and beautiful stories let's get started a short and a beautiful story coming up let's get started okay this story is about a sheep farm a very large sheep farm sheep farm has got what sheep many many sheep one day accidentally a pig enters the sheep, uh, sheep farm the pig enters there are sheep everywhere around and there is this one pig for 2 3 days he was not noticed by the farmer the sheep farmer the sheep farmer the shepherd did not notice the pig was there then finally one day they notice oh there's a pig there and the farmer with the help of another one or two people somewhere after one or two hours of chasing managed to catch the pig they caught the pig and they were taking pig to the butcher who's a butcher basically yeah the uh, butcher is the one which cuts isn't it so now the pig was crying the pig realized oh my god the pig was crying he was yelling it was screaming it was this thing the sheep were all watching Sheep said, "Why are you crying? Don't cry." He said, "I'm crying. They are they are taking me for cutting." He said, "Yeah, we know you are going for cutting. Don't cry. We go there regularly, huh? You go there regularly, sheep." Now the pig realized, "Yeah, yeah. When you go, you go for cutting the wool. They take you for cutting the wool. But I am going. They are taking me for what? For what? What is that thing called as?" Sheep go in a sheep farm. What do they go for? Cutting the wool. Correct? No. It's called shearing the wool. But the the pig is going for what? Sheep is going for his meat. This thing for his meat. Sorry, sheep is going for his wool. The pig is going for its meat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, meat. It's gonna end his life, isn't it? That's the reason why he was crying so much, isn't it? So, what did we learn from this simple, beautiful story? What did we learn? Oops. Yeah. All living things has a valuable, uh, val valid. Valuable in our life. Repeat that, Sana, again, dear. Every living organism has a value in a, in their life. Wonderful. Every living thing has value, no doubt. Yeah. See what did you learn, Uta? Same thing, coach. Every uh, organism has a, a living purpose. As a living purpose, so nice, wonderful. Coach, yeah. Every living organism has its own characteristics, has its own value, so that it can improve our lives. Okay. Think again. Everybody, think deeper. The pig was crying, crying, crying because it know that it is going to be meat. Coach. The sheep were telling, "Don't cry. Coach. You'll be back." It happens to us on a regular basis. Once in every uh, few months, we also go. We also get cut. But he clarifies, "You are going to cut, get cut for your. They Coach. cut your wool, but they're going to cut me for my meat." Yeah, Mahadev. Coach, our respect is where we are, coach. Our respect is where we are. Okay, nice. Uta. Both are going for cut. Both are going for cutting. Sheep gets cut for its wool. The pig is going to get cut for its meat. For pig will be end of story. Correct. What did we learn? Coach, we must know our value. 
to know our value. Think leaders, all of your leaders, come on, think, think, think. The sheep are telling, don't worry. Uh, they're taking you the, this thing for the cut. The pig clarifies, no, 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 you are going for your wool. They shear you for your wool. They cut you for your wool. But you're still alive. I will be dead. Others do not know your challenge. The value of this, the story, all the answers once again, as I keep telling, are right. There are no wrong answers. There are only answers. Thank you so much for everybody's contribution. My value from this is stop comparing yourself. Stop comparing yourself. Yes. Okay. Correct. Sheep are sheep. Okay. You are you. Pig is pig. Please understand, don't compare yourself that this is going to happen that Everybody goes through their own journey. Correct, isn't it? The sheep were telling, don't worry, it's just a cut. Nothing is going to happen. But the only pig knows that that cut will be the last cut he ever thinks about. After that, he'll no, be, no more be alive. So, please, leaders, Siddhi, Sana, then uh, Mahadev, Sri, Uta, stop comparing yourself. Start comparing, he is doing that, she is doing that. You know your value. You're going to go through your own challenges. You're going to go through your own achievements. So stop comparing. Stop competing. You want to compete? Siddhi, you want to compete? Compete with your own self. Think about your own self. It's, a, for you, it's very important what others are. Most of your actions, the people are around, most of your action is to only please them. Isn't it? How is it? Do you think somebody else can study? Somebody else can study and write your exam? No, right? Isn't it? Correct? Somebody else, she, she. Isn't it? She, she. Yeah, she. Somebody else can eat your food. Your mom loves you. Yeah. She, she'll eat the food. The nutrition will come to you. No, no isn't it? Correct? Yeah. Please, please understand, you're lovable, you're capable, you're valuable, and you're unique. You're one of a kind. Yeah, you're one of a kind with whatever great things you have, whatever flaws you have, whatever challenges you have, your PRO Williams, everything is you, you, you. You need to work on yourself. So for things to change, I must stop comparing. You are unique. You are God's child. You're God's gift. So stop comparing. Now take a look at it. Eight plus, eight plus billion people. Eight plus billion people. You say, is there anybody like you? No, then why do you worry about others? Why do you think about others? Constantly wanting to please. You focus on yourself. The thing is, see, you focus on yourself. When you are focusing on others, you're not living your own purpose. You're not living your own life. You're not thinking from your own mind. You are thinking, what is she going to think? What is he going to think? And then you end up doing things, which then you realize, oh, why did I do this? Why did I not do this? What is the reason of that? Please, you are responsible for your action. You're not responsible for anybody else's action. Correct? Isn't it? Yeah. You can't change your circumstances. Maybe a little bit, a tiny little bit you can do. Your surroundings, your situation, very little you can do. But who, what, whom can you change? She, whom can you change? Siddhi, whom can you change? Yourself. Yeah, not yourself. Whom can you change? Myself. Say, myself. Yeah, I. <laughs> For things to change, I must change myself. Yeah. Thank you so much, everybody. Ashi, uh, since you've joined, and uh, so happy to see you. You started morning rituals. Uh, everybody, 
everybody can tell you here this one hour this one hour that you give will actually change the way how you live your rest of your 23 hours this one hour you will would have observed we did the body stretches we did super brain yoga we do brain gyms brain gyms again sharpening your brain studies is going to be using what our brain now you will see we'll do pranayams cleaning up a lung cleaning up a brain then we'll do gratitude then we'll do goal setting all all that thing next few days she two to three days just watch us and then you can start joining you did the super mind program no this is all about that okay where is she nanda sorry uh, very silish but she didn't come coach she still sleeping i tried waking up without getting okay no issues sooner or later you will start joining start sleeping or oh, only when you start sleeping early you are going to wake up early here everybody sleeps very early siddhi what time you go to bed subhadev sana yukta yukta 8:30 she is in the bed coach at 10 o'clock and wake up at 5 o'clock 10 o'clock is very late siddhi start waking up start sleeping at 9 o'clock champion sleep at 9 o'clock 10 o'clock your melatonin is released you cannot be awake at 10 o'clock 9:30 to 10 yeah 9:30 onwards melatonin really starts to happen you are awake you're doing nothing you're missing out a very important time yeah okay let's let's begin everybody please keep your mics muted you can come quickly Place your thumb, the index finger, under finger straight. One minute of silence. Only focusing on your breath. Start with alternate nasal breathing. Continue to keep sitting straight. Looks are doing really well. Left in, right out, right in, left out. Three times, doing it beautifully. Twenty times. Start with deep breathing. Six of them. The last one is the longest. Begin. Ah. Um. Oh. 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 Let's continue with energizer. Oh. 
and change the shade of the color. Lock your arms. Continue to keep sitting straight. Let's start with gratitude. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for being such an amazing person. Always so kind, always so caring, always grounded. Thank you, sir, for being independent and enthusiastic. Thank you, sir, for just focusing on your goal, for always immersed your goal. Thank you, sir, for not comparing yourself with others. You are you, and they are them. If you want to compete, you compete with yourself. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, thank you to place of support, your mom and your dad, for you being there for you. They've helped you to everything. They've given you food to eat, shelter to live in, and clothes to wear. Now, thank your friends and your family for, for helping you and for motivating you and supporting you. Now, thank your guru, the teachers, the coaches, for leading you in the right direction. They've told you what's right and what's wrong. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now let's thank Mother Nature. Thank you, Mother Nature, for giving me food to eat, water to live, and oxygen to breathe. Now thank the God, the Almighty, for helping you stay immersed in your goal, for helping you stay grounded. He's giving you everything in abundance, whether it's health, wealth, money, education, everything. Thank you, thank you. Now, imagine a bright white light. Well, that's that's good. Good. It's your head, no, your face, your neck, your chest, your hands, your yeah. fingers, your fingertips, goes down your stomach, Morning, your thighs, your knees, your calves, and your toes, head to toe, toe to head, fully touched with a bright white light. No, enough for something, enough for now, enough for now in the right state of mind, start our goal meditation. Now, in the right state of mind, start our goal visualization, our goal meditation. Visualize, start. You visualize your long term goal, your short term goals, meta goals. Now, let go of your hands, hands in your heart, and repeat after me. I'm amazing. I'm powerful. I'm a confident communicator. I'm a powerful presenter. I stay grounded in all situations. I'm enthusiastic. I'm kind. I'm caring. I'm energetic. I don't compare myself with anyone. I compete only with myself. Every single day. I'm lovable, I'm capable, I'm valuable, and I'm super cute. Brain drop that one, two, three, four, five. Oh, whoosh. First one. Second one. Last one. Open your eyes to see the first right. Switch. Everybody live powerfully, live purposely. You guys are super good. Bye bye. Love you all. Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Sachin and I am a life coach. I use games, activities and exercises to teach young champions valuable life skills and study skills which help them become number one in studies and number one in life. Continue to watch our videos, share them, subscribe to our channel and please do comment. 
it'll help us it'll inspire us to make more good content like this thank you so much for watching our channel also do visit our website thank you so much